Well, hi there. I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering. Hey, in this video, I'm going to say a few words about uh, morals and ethics, and at the risk of uh, helping you all remember that why everybody hates uh, moral philosophers, uh, we're going to tackle that subject. And if you can't figure out why I just mentioned moral philosophers, you need to watch The Good Place. At any rate, uh, so I have uh, three things I want to say today just on the topic of, of ethics and morals. And the, the first one is, and some of this, you know, hopefully will be like, duh, seriously, you had to say it. Well, let me tell you, you know, in light of all this fiasco with the, the, the 737 MAX 8 and just the incredible lapses of integrity that, you know, I remember I spent years in that industry and to hear all that going on, you're like, whoa, you know, people forgot some very important things. And so the first thing I would say, the first no duh thing is, uh, you know what? You never lie. Just don't do it. Just don't lie. Um, and the concept I always tell people at work is, look, this is what it is. Every morning you got to get up, you're going to brush your teeth, you're going to look in the mirror. And what we want is you not to be ashamed when you look in the mirror. We don't want you to look in the mirror and go, I can't believe I did that. Okay, we, we simply want you to live in the freedom of a clear conscience. So uh, point one is just uh, don't lie. It, it makes things easier. You don't have to remember as much. You don't have to cover your tracks. You just simply tell the truth. It keeps you out of trouble. It's a great idea. Uh, the second one is, uh, this one maybe is not as much of a no duh. It, and maybe it even goes against the grain. There's a lot of people these days that are saying, oh, the golden rule is out of date. You know, the golden rule is, you know, treat others like you yourself want to be treated. And so these people that in many cases are so full of themselves, they would say the platinum rule is better, and that's treat people how they want to be treated. Okay, and I, I'm just going to say no. And the, the reason is a couple things. So first of all, in most cases, those two present identical results. Okay, so what are the cases when those don't produce the same results? And one of the cases, one of the things that, that's epidemic level is um, addictions of various sorts. And uh, also there's, there's, there's a, a bit of issue with the entitlement and, and, and laziness and things of these natures. And the truth is people with addictions, people with laziness, um, people who, who are entitled, I mean, they're going to all want something that's not good for them. So it's real interesting if you ever read, I, I had a kind of a really crazy situation. I was, I was teaching a class and, and some people from a, um, one of these um, Alcoholics Anonymous sort of things, it's actually called Celebrate Recovery, but it was at church and, and some of the people like, well, you know, as you graduate from the program, go to some other classes and I was teaching a class and so all of a sudden a bunch of them are in my class. So I got to know these these folks and um, you know first thing I did dutifully is they made sure that you know I had all the material. So I, I've, I've seen the material um, from AA and other things and it's very interesting. They have one book where they talk, it's sort of a, um, a written to employers and what they basically say is if you have an alcoholic on your staff please don't go easy on them. Please don't give them a break. Please you know, be harsh with them. And the idea is that they have to hit bottom. And, and they, I mean, they just come around and say, look, you know, the story of pretty much everybody is until they hit bottom, uh, things didn't turn around. And once they do hit bottom, then things often turn around. Not always, but the, the, their point was they won't turn around. And so if you, if you treat people the way they want to be treated when they're struggling with alcohol or, or addictions and, and whatnot, okay, you are not doing them any favors. So I'm going to say still golden rule. And the concept is very simple. You know, put yourself in their shoes and suppose you're in that situation and you think it through. Say, okay, I'm going to th be thoughtfully think about what is best. Now, like I say, in a lot of cases, I'll get the same results as platinum, but the, the real difference is, is when the person uh, on the other end is not thinking clearly and, you know, do you sort of just abandon your common sense and go with their thing or do you say, I'm going to be ethical and I'm going to do my best, to, you know, to really help them and that that's the difference. So the first one is don't lie. The second one is treat other people as you yourself would want to be treated. And the third one is, and this this is going to rub some people the wrong way, but this is the sort of thing if you if you take a, a class in ethics, graduate level class, read some textbooks. I'll give you an example. There's one by a guy named Johnson called the Meeting the Ethical Challenges of Leadership, 
And here's something that the, the, the moral philosophers and the ethicists, and presumably Chidi would say this, but I've never heard him say it on The Good Place. But anyway, any rate, what they would say is it's immoral to use the metaphor of war in business. You know, business is war. Okay, let's think about that for a second. In war, you like kill people. You blow people up. You do extreme stuff that you would never do. The, the, the moral problem with, with using a metaphor of war in business is you're, you're biasing yourself to do stuff you would never do. Okay, it's not war. It's competition. Yes, there are rules. There are boundaries. Just so everybody's clear, we don't kill anybody. We don't assassinate character. Um, you know, I've been on the other side. We have a, a competitor who's kind of the 800-pound gorilla, and it is unbelievable the degree to which they, you know, make personal attacks and things of that nature. And, uh, the, the, you know, the, the point is it's not war. And what the, 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 the ethical philosophy, the philosophies, uh, philosophers of ethics, moral philosophers, whatnot, you know, that's, that's kind of an agreed upon concept is we don't use the metaphor of war because it justifies immoral things. At any rate, so uh, that may have set you back a little bit. Um, all I can do is say, well, you know, I challenge you to, to think that through, to kind of be honest with yourself, you know. Um, and, and, you know, I've, I've got the reference here, the picture of the book you can look at. At any rate, never lie. Use the golden rule. Treat people like you as yourself want to be treated. And we don't use the metaphor of war to, to, to think about our work or to justify our actions or justify our mind frame or anything like that. Still got to be, you know, men and women of integrity. At any rate, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich. I like to talk about leadership and engineering. And now, uh, uh, you can find more of my videos at TomUlrichConsulting.com. If you're on YouTube, I think you can just search on Dr. Tom Ulrich. And uh, if you don't mind, if you don't mind subscribing, my videos get recommended more by YouTube as I get more subscriptions. If you don't mind liking, if you have a little comment, write it on there. I'll respond. And uh, at any rate, but thank you for listening. We'll talk to you next time.